Hello guys, my name is Fahad Zaman and in this video I am going to show you how you can get Google Assistant on your Android device without root and its 10 cool tips and tricks. Now you can officially get Google Assistant on your Android device running Android Marshmallow or Nougat and that's exactly what I am going to show you. Excited? So let's get started. Step 1. Go to settings and then go to Google. Here on top three dot menu button and go to help and feedback. In the help page, hit the three dot menu button and tap on view in Play Store which will open the Play Store page of Google Play services. All you need to do scroll down and you will find become a beta tester. Tap on I am in and join. You will see beta sign up in progress. You will get an update within 5 to 10 minutes and that's it. Update it. Once you do that, you also need to update Google app to the latest beta version. Go to the Play Store and search for Google. Enroll in beta program. Once you do that, you will get an update within 5 to 10 minutes. So wait for that. And once you get it, update your Google app. Once both the apps are installed, restart your phone. After rebooting your phone, go to the settings, then scroll down to find language. If it's English United Kingdom, then change it to English United States. Here you have to select English United States as your primary language. And if you have any other language assigned, then just remove it. Now you are almost done. After setting US English as default language, go back to settings menu and find app section and open it. Now from here you have to find Google Play service app and open it. Now go to story, then manage space and from here you have to clear all data. The same thing you have to do with the Google app. Once that is done, go back to home screen and clear all apps from the recent window and make sure no app is running in the background. Now all you need to do is simply tap and hold the home button. Doing so will show you a pop-up asking you to get started with Google Assistant on your Android phone. So now, you can just tap on the home button to ask Google Assistant for the nearest coffee shop. It can read your text messages and also tell you whether if you are getting bored, it can play music for you. In many aspects, it's like Google now. So you have got Google Assistant on your phone. Now what? There are lots of awesome stuff which you can do without even touching your Android device. But not all users are aware with Google Assistant and that's exactly what I am going to show you now. Unlocking your phone can be a pain. If you have a complicated password setup, thankfully you can use Google System's hot words to unlock your phone. Just say OK Google to unlock your phone. Don't worry, your phone will only unlock if it recognizes the voice as being your. OK Google. You can set this up in lock screen and security, secure lock settings and smart lock. Tap on trusted voice and turn it on. If you like me, you spend the last few minutes before rushing out of your house. Frantically searching for the things, thanks to Google Distance, you can just ask Google to remember the places you kept those things for you. Ok Google, remember that my passport is in the top drawer. Ok, I'll remember that. Ok Google, remember that the car keys are in my bag. Ok, I'll remember that. Ok then, you can ask Google to recall what you told it by saying something on the lines of Ok Google, where is my passport? Here's what you've told me. March 16th, 2017, remember that my passport is in top drawer. Or you can say something like Ok Google, what did I tell you about my passport? Here's what you've told me. 
March 16th, 2017. Remember that my passport is in top drawer. If you want to see everything that you said Google to remember about you, just say, Okay Google, what did I ask you to remember? Here's what you asked me to remember recently. March 16th, 2017. Remember that my car keys are in my bag. March 16th, 2017. Remember that my passport is in top drawer. You can now make you will forget about specific things by tapping on the forget one. Forget to button lets you up under the result or you can just make Google forget everything you told it by saying, Okay Google, forget all of that. Okay, I won't mention it again if you don't. Google Assistant can also show you unread text message on your phone. You can apply to them as well directly from within Google system itself. Okay Google, show me my messages. You have one text message. It's from ABC. Do you want to hear it? Read it. It says, do you want to reply, repeat it, or is that it for now? If you want to reply to the messages, just say, reply. Text ABC, sure. What's the message? You can then narrate your message to Google Distance and send it. This is a test message. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. The Google Assistant can even show your email from the Google account connected to it. Okay Google, show me my email. I found this in your Gmail. Ok Google, show me my emails from last 6 months. This is what shows up in your Gmail. Tapping on an email opens the email in the Gmail app. Or say, Ok Google, open Gmail. If you like using Facebook a lot and use it to update your activities about everything you do, this one will probably save you a lot of time. You will have to use the iftripleT.com to get this working. But it's actually very easy. Just connect your Google Assistant and Facebook account to iftripleT to enable it. You can find the link in the description below. Once you have done that, you can post to Facebook by OK Google, tell my friends I am going to airport. Posting to Facebook, I'm going to airport. Google Assistant can also help you to take a selfie. You won't have to reach for the shutter button to click a selfie anymore. Ok Google, take a selfie. Opening app. Google Assistant start 3 second countdown before clicking the picture. Google Assistant can also help across a speech to other language. This can come in very handy when you are on a vacation to a foreign country or just as a way to learn basic phrases in different language. Ok Google, translate where is the bus stops in Spanish. ¿Dónde está la parada de autobús? Ok Google, translate what are you doing in Urdu. Here is your translation. People who are using Google Photos can use Google Assistant to check out their pics and even get results about specific event, page and subject. You can just say something like, Ok Google, show me my photos. I found this in your Google Photos. Google will show the results from photos stored in Google Photos. You can even refine the result based on dates, places and image subject. To see images you took last year, OK Google, show my photos from last year. Here's what I found in your Google Photos. You can refine the search results by the subject in the images. OK Google, show me my photos from YouTube. Here's what I found in your Google Photos. This is cool one. Check it out. OK Google, it's my birthday. Google shows birthday theme, pictures like cake and more and customize with my name, that's really cool. How cool would it be if you get Google Assistant to tell you about a day? Google Assistant can give you a daily briefing as well. 
you can simply say something like okay google what does my day look like good evening fahid i hope things are going well the time is 11 43 pm the weather in hafizabad currently is 62 degrees and smoke with a high of 77 degrees by the way disney's live action beauty and the beast opens today in this version of the story bell is the inventor instead of maurice that rings truer if you ask me for some more movie fun ask me to tell you something about bell you can customize the things as you want google to tell you about in a daily life this can be done by going to the google assistant settings and then tap on my day here you can configure the things that you want to know about in your daily briefing including things like the weather the time this is followed by a short news brief as well you can select the news sources you want to get news from by tapping on the settings icon in front of news google has been known to geek out about things and loves to do so here is another example of google being okay google do you speak in morse code da 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 did 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 that means yes okay that's definitely a great way to put it well okay google i am feeling bored i've got this we can play a game i can find you a fun fact or we can see what random fun comes our way play a game you can play one of these games recite a poem in honor of st patrick's day here's a verse by a wonderful irish poet here's a poem by w b yeats entitled the second coming turning and turning in the widening gyre the falcon cannot hear the falconer things fall apart the center cannot hold mere anarchy is loosed upon the world well this is all for now if you enjoyed this video then give this video a big thumbs up click on the red subscribe button for more videos also share your favorite tricks in the comments below thanks for watching